news new at six. The FIFA World Cup is coming to Kansas City in 2026 and Missouri lawmakers say it is legislation that they passed that made it possible. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley has the story from Arrowhead Stadium. Kansas City scored a big goal Thursday when it was selected to be one of the host cities for the FIFA World Cup in 2026. Right now, this is an empty parking lot, but it will all change then because Arrowhead Stadium is where the games will be played. But legislation regarding sales tax is what really sealed the deal. Kansas City. It's something we all can get excited about. Hopefully, they, uh, people are enjoying bars and restaurants. The hotels will be packed. They've had studies that show people will be staying all the way out to Columbia uh, just to come to the World Cup in Kansas City. In 2026, Arrowhead Stadium will be home to more than just football games. For everybody in Missouri to bring that here, to have the World Cup here in Kansas City, it's going to just be a great time, an exciting time, and what an opportunity to showcase uh, who we are here in Missouri. The stadium will also be one of the homes of the FIFA World Cup. You know, you try so hard trying to get prepped up to try to land these uh, these positions sometime when somebody's trying to come to your state and you're trying to figure out how do you get them here and you're competing against everybody else. But I'll tell you what, I like the competition. Senate Minority Leader John Rizzo says it's his legislation that helped Kansas City score by exempting the sales tax on tickets. We've had problems in the past where they have to announce these things so far out and then a local municipality will spike uh, the sales tax. Other states have passed similar laws with the hope of being recognized by FIFA. I think that if, if we had not passed the legislation, we wouldn't be, we wouldn't have had the celebration we had yesterday. But it was the bipartisan effort to see world class soccer. We fight back and forth all the time in Jeff City, and to have such an amazing thing happen for Kansas City yesterday, everybody can come in together. It, it, it's what politics and government should be. That's already on my desk. Uh, I'm sure that's going to be signed, and we're going to be signing in Kansas City here in the next week or so. You heard it right there. Governor Mike Parson saying he plans to sign that legislation very soon. As for soccer in the Show Me State, it's been a rising sport for some time. Here in Kansas City, you have Sporting KC and the women's team, the Kansas City Current. Over in St. Louis, St. Louis City SC will take the field for the first time in their new stadium next year. Reporting for our Missouri Capitol Bureau in Kansas City, I'm Emily Manley.